What's going on guys? This is Malcolm and yeah, you're on Malcolm Talks. I'm back at it again, man. It's on a Monday. Um, my windshield is a little foggy right now. I'm still trying to see what's going on, but how y'all feeling, man? Did y'all have a great weekend? I hope so. I know I did. You know, I want to talk to you guys today specifically about motivation because some of you all are looking for motivation. And I'm about to go ahead and give you the motivation that's gonna light a fire up under your ass and make you go do whatever it is you need to go get done. And I'm gonna provide that for you right now, especially if you're an African-American. Do you know that there was a time in American history, okay? Let's go back to like the 1700s, way back. A lot of y'all like, man, come on, man. That was a long, that was too long ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. But it happened. It happened. And it's not gonna be a history lesson necessarily, but I'm just gonna share a couple things with you, man. There was a time in American history where the intellectuals, people in Congress, the politicians, the business folks, all of the people of that time that were supposed to be the smart folks. They were debating slavery. Think about that. Slavery was in the, you know, it was going strong. And they were like, man, should we free them or should we keep them enslaved, man? I don't know. You know, they were just debating this. So just imagine. They had all these people just uh, debating whether or not you should even be free. Oh, man, I can't even. Whew, that's tough out there. I can't barely see out there. They were debating that. And so a lot of you might be like, wait, what, what would that, why would it be that big of a debate? Well, they were debating black capability. <laughs> Imagine that. So they, they didn't even think we were capable. Right? Let me put it to you this way. They thought that they were actually doing us a favor by keeping us enslaved. That's how some people thought. Because they said, you know what, guys, listen. If we free those blacks, they're either gonna starve or they're gonna plunder, guys. It's either one or the two. Are we sure we wanna free these beasts, these animals? That's how they saw us, guys. And that's when guys like Benjamin Banneker, I know you heard of that name, he was one of the ones that was involved in those debates. Like, no, 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 no. We're plenty capable. Don't get it twisted. You know, he was the he was one of the main ones that was like, no, this this whole perception that you have of black people and and what they're capable of is just wrong. It's not it's not correct. And a lot of that stuff it still lives on today. Do you see all these police shootings? You see all these people, these black people getting killed by police officers, dog. A lot of that stuff, in my opinion, it comes from this unconscious bias that has been going on for generations where people feel black people are, are inferior. Like they feel like, you know what, they're worse than the Indians. That that's how they that's how a lot of them think. Now, unfortunately, man, we not unfortunately, but we try to put all the blame. We want to put blame somewhere, but you got to understand, man, this thing is going back hundreds of years and it was deeply ingrained and this was just the way of the times. It is what it is, man. But I want you to always remember, man, that that um, there was a point in time where people didn't think that we were even capable of using our minds. They thought that the best thing for us is that we be on the field picking cotton. And a lot of the literature, a lot of the speeches, a lot of what was being uh, promoted during that time was for slavery to continue. And you got to know why, though. You got to know why, man. In the South, don't you know the South was dependent on slave labor? Dependent. You know what dependent means? It means that, oh, no, nah, man. They might be capable, but no, 
They're going to stay slaves on this plantation. We're going to go to war about that. They're going to remain slaves or we going to war. Because if you take away my slave, you took you taking away my entire livelihood. And this is where guys like Thomas Jefferson came in. You remember Thomas Jefferson? Our president at one point in time. He was the one talking about, yeah, they're not ready. You know, they're, they are inferior. You know, uh, Thomas Jefferson owned like hundreds and hundreds of slaves or some crazy shit. They're talking about, he's talking about how bad slaves are and how they're not this and not that and not capable and not this. Thomas Jefferson had like six, seven kids from, from a slave. He was in a love affair with a slave woman. You didn't know that? Thomas Jefferson's talking out to both sides of his mouth. So listen, guys. Um, you need some motivation. Just think about where you come from. Think about how far we've made it. And think about the fact that people still do not think that you're capable. That's why we have to be excellent. We have to be excellent at everything we do, man. And it's not just to show off for somebody or like put on for somebody or prove to this group of people that or whoever it is that we're capable no it's not to prove to any of that you have to realize the history of this thing there's a deep rooted history in black people not being capable that's that's really the whole um point that's the myth that we have to break. That's one of the ma that's one of the major quiet stereotypes that I believe that is happening in the minds of people that don't even see themselves as racist. You got to realize, man, there are people who do not feel that they're racist. They might love all people, but in the back of their mind, they've been so indoctrinated over the course of generations that it's a little piece in their mind. They're like, uh, I mean, I think we, we can we can work with them and bring them up to speed and bring them up to our level. They have the ability to get to our level. That's how they feel. But many people do not feel that we're on their level already. They don't they don't feel that way. They don't feel like we have any gifts, talents that puts them that puts us on a, a even play, a even playing field with all human beings, guys. See, we forget, man. We think that it's only the people that are blatantly standing in your way or blatantly being prejudiced or racist or something like that to your face. It's not just them. There's also a large group of people who actually have good hearts very philanthropic you know they're really nice people and maybe they battle with this feeling they don't know why they feel this way but but deep down they kind of feel like you know because of slavery and because of all the things that black people have been through and because of poverty and because of some of the things that we've been through as a people they feel like because of that we're not capable yet. We're, we're not, we don't have everything we need to succeed yet because of all these things. And I want you, and this, this goes for black, white, I don't care what, what color you are. There's a lot of people that have that idea. There's a lot of black people that think like that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I used to think like that. I used to feel like, man, you know, slavery took such a toll on black people that's why we're in the situation that we're in that's what i used to think i used to be like yeah man you know we're behind because slavery did something to our minds so that now we're no longer capable that's that's basically what that means but when i started doing a little more research and i started realizing wait man that's a lie we're perfectly capable right now we don't lack anything. All we need to do is to apply what we already know. It's time to show and prove, people. Excellence, man. We gotta lead with excellence. We have no other choice. We 
have no other choice, man. We standing on the backs of people that um, that put in a lot of work and had to die for this, man. So anyway, this is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks, whether you like it or not, man. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. What do you want me to talk about next, man? You need a motivation. There it is. There it is. I'm going to holler at you guys next time.